Greetings and welcome back everyone to the town of Stygian Sanctuary in Rimworld where there are a number of things that we need to address right away at the beginning of this episode. Chief amongst them is a food crisis. So we're going to need a few things done. Now the first thing that I'm going to do, given that there is a food crisis here, Dark Avak, I want you to start butchering people, because the alternative is people will, if they get hungry enough, just go and eat from the corpse. They'll nibble on an ear, a bit of cheek, maybe pull out the tongue, start feasting on it, and that's going to make them feel even more wretched than if Dark Avak expertly cuts the human meat into, or rather humans, into meat, because then at least a part of their brain is like, it's just me to just to stop thinking about where it came from. They'll still be incredibly upset, but less incredibly upset than if they were eating someone's face while it was still attached to their skull. Uh, other than that, we've got a number of other things we can do. We've got a lot of animals at the moment, and uh, I think it's time for a bit of a cull. Uh, we are not going to be culling the huskies. However, we will be going ahead and training the adults. In fact, we'll train all of the huskies that can haul in hauling. There we go, that'll be set up. Uh, actually, whilst we've got a bit of a food crisis, and considering huskies do eat quite a lot of um, the food that our colonists would eat, let's actually avoid that for now. Just uh, leave that as is for the time being. Right, in terms of... Well, we've got actually a couple of hens. We can get rid of one rooster and, let's say, three hens. Let's get those are gone. As for our muffalos, uh, we've actually got quite a few. Uh, generally, I would prefer to um, preserve the female muffalos over the males, but um, we've only got two adult muffalos that aren't at all trained. Uh, so, ooh, well, actually, we won't we won't take out the pregnant one. Um, trip, no, you've been named. So, muffalo two, I'm afraid you're going to have to go. Trained or not. Now, the other thing is there are a couple of uh, animals on the map, so I'm thinking we probably want to send some people out to go get it. Let's send out Horror Story, Valerie, and Wilson out there. Let's get them on the move. Do we have any food ready to harvest? Not really. Okay, well, it's going to be a bit of a rough time, but we'll do our best. Now, one thing that so many people have been telling me to do for so, so long, and I've actually had a look at the components. Now, I must confess, I am so sorry. I was running under the assumption that the brain chip implant was actually inferior. In fact, I was so certain of this, I'd be willing to go out on a limb and say that perhaps that debuff had been taken away. Because when I was looking, I found that even the brain stimulator no longer had a particular severe debuff and I recall these being extremely unattractive items the, something you would use as a last resort only in previous iterations of the mod now that might just be my bad memory though uh, perhaps I will check out my previous series where I've used these mods just to double check on that because I was really certain that these these were terrible the brain stimulator is still not a good choice but it is 100% efficient as a brain um, however it puts a, an artificial cap on how conscious someone can be and since consciousness affects everything they do this is still not great it, it would keep someone at only 65 percent conscious that means anything they try to work on is going to be massively in, um, impaired their abilities will be massively impaired so we're not going to be making a brain stimulator no no but the ai chip has come a long way. The uh, maximum consciousness is 100%. Um, it would give everything we would need. Through special chemicals and electric shocks, this little chip is able to completely restore the user's consciousness or mobility. Requires brain surgery research before installing. So yeah, we'll go ahead and make these. I do apologize to everyone who I've been saying, yeah, I would build it, but it's not as efficient. No, you were right. I should have just checked instead of relying on what I thought I knew, because clearly I was wrong. So, joy wires are gone. It's still going to require energized parts, though. And I don't believe we have much in the way of uranium on the map. Let's actually have a quick look. No, we do not. That is a bit of a shame. Uh, Yoko, you can go ahead and eat that by all means. Right, anything else? There is a bear over there. It might not hurt to go and slay a bear. 
Yes, yes, I know. It'll be bad if we hunt it, but uh, we need the food, so it's going to have to happen. And finally, one of the last things we're going to do, I'm going to remove the huskies from being able to haul in any of the living quarters. No more hauling in these at all. Anything in there is out of bounds. Also, anything in here is now out of bounds to you as well. There we go. That, that'll that reduce their ability to be able to eat any of our foods. Now, the issue with this, I'm going to have Dark Avac just butcher a couple of these, but not all of them. I just want some uh, human meat available rather than in corpse form. Atlas, are you going straight for this? In fact, Atlas, I believe you're actually a brawler, aren't you? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Yeah, you're going straight in there. No, you're coming in here. Knew that was going to happen. Knew what I did. Come on, Dark Havoc. You quickly go ahead. Chop it up. And Atlas, if you must eat something, you can eat this this human meat here. There we go. Right. And pause. Dark Havoc's going to eat some. Atlas, can you cook? You'll never do cooking. Dark Havoc, can you cook? I mean, a cooked... Cannibalism will be better for people than an uncooked cannibalism. Atlas, I'm going to have to stop you there again. You're just going to have to wait. Madden, are you going in there too? Yeah, Madden's going in there too. No. 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 Dark Ava, keep cooking. Keep cooking. You're fine with it. All right. Okay, you go. Madden, go grab some noms. There we are. We're going to have to very carefully give people uh, cooked cannibalism. It's not going to be great. Right, Dark Havoc, no, more cooking please, go, Atlas, you're up next since you've been waiting the longest, Ugh, this is, this is rough, uh, I'm going to have to very carefully manage this, right, guys, you're together, good, let's get you together there, and you can attack, let's hope it doesn't aggress you, there we are, right, good, get up there, finish it off, right, Madden's nomming, I think Madden is probably super unhappy, uh, no, Kai, I'm, I'm really sorry, everyone, but no. This is your own own best interest. Let's get you down there. Actually, Rhapsody, can you cook? Yes, you can. Get to cooking, please. Dark Havoc, start more food. Janna, go ahead. And it's not, it's not the sort of food you're going to like. I'll, I'll be honest with you. How did you get in there? My lord. My lord. Right, there we go. And Kaya, you can have some food in a moment. No. Oh, yes. Okay, that's okay. Oh, Dark Avak, you're going to have to butcher. I know. It's it's incredibly frustrating. You're so hungry and everyone else is getting to eat but you. <sighs> alas, alas. It's because you are superior in your tastes. That's why. That's why I can't let you do it. Right, okay. We should be good at this point, right? right. Wilson. Uh, I'm having to baby them. There we go. Headshot. Well done. More shooting, please. There we go. Take it quickly. There we are. All right. So, I need Wilson to... No, not consume it. Valerie, can you prioritize carrying it back? Thank you. Okay, you two. Let's take you out and kill, out, kill some more things. There we are. Take this down for us. Wow, that was a pretty bad shot. To be honest, that was pretty awful, actually. Chase it down. Uh, yeah, it, unfortunately, it is going to be the small animals that we're going to have to take out here. We're down to that point where this is a necessity. But it is a necessity, so there we go. Some people have probably already eaten un, uh, unbutchered humans, which upsets me a bit, but uh, oh well. Right, Dark Avak, you've still got plenty of meat there, good. Rhapsody, could you keep cooking? We'll chop down one or two more, and that's going to be it. Uh, the things you have to do when people are incredibly ill, or rather, about to die from malnutrition. I mean, they are ill as well, but they're sick and tired of eating humans, except for Dark Avak, who understands the... the Delicacy that is human flesh. Uh, right, that's actually good enough. Go ahead and eat, I guess. Consume a simple meal. Actually, do you need it? No, no, you're good. You're good. Never mind. Please cook some more then. Uh, you want agave fruits? No, I won't be doing that. Sorry. 
Alright, uh, you're not getting on because you're having to cook peoples. Uh, I suppose I understand. Okay, let's get uh, dark a little bit of nons. Uh, dark should be fine though. Yoko will also be fine. Oh wow, really? Yoko wasn't wasn't taken care of? Uh, I guess I have been forcing Dark Avak to uh, take care of cooking. Sorry, Yoko. <laughs> right, okay, but uh, our colonists, they're not in a great mood. True. I, I, man, that is unfortunate for you. But it's not as terribly bad as it could be. It could be significantly worse, so I'll accept this. Uh, right, Dark Avak is... Oh, will you please stop butchering the peoples? Uh, I guess you can butcher this one if you must. But the problem is, is the Dark Avak will butcher um, corpses. So whenever Dark Avak does butchering, he'll start with the human corpses first. Which is a bit of a pain, but that one. We still need to get more food made, though. So I'll just have you work on cooking for a little while. Okay, other than that, uh, I think we're generally all right. So I'm going to let a little bit of time pass. Oh, can we bring that in? Uh, like, that is a super high priority to be brought in. If we've got any... Well, we could go and hunt the bear, but I'm not actually in the mood for, for bear stalking right now. That's got a high chance of someone being really badly messed up. Hopefully, we can just work on the slaughtering soon instead. But I'll bring you back when we've got more to report. Okay, we've just finished researching deep drilling, so it's time to start looking into something else. Uh, right, ground penetrating... Uh, radar, I think, is up next. We've got a couple of meals now. We've got them over here. Though I'm noticing that people are not actually going out and eating them. They're still actually grabbing the simple meals. Uh, or, or rather, sorry, the, the raw components from around here, which is a little bit of a concern, I'll be honest with you. Uh, we'll have to see how that one goes. But there are rare thrombos on the map, and I'm strongly tempted to go and grab those. Let me just have a quick look. Have we got everyone restricted to something? No, we haven't got them restricted. Hmm. Very, very curious. Very curious indeed, actually. Uh, those meals... You know what? Let me uh, change this refrigerator. Let's have this one store as an important priority rather than a critical uh, priority. This way, these um, areas will only get filled with food if the other locations have been filled. Uh, such as this one and the new refrigerator we're building in this little dining room here. That way, our colonists should hopefully go for these uh, first. Ooh, mental state. Berserk. Madden has gone berserk. Well, that is unfortunate. Uh, where's Dark Avak at the moment? Kai is nearby, actually. Uh, Dark Avak, where are you? You are reasonably close by. Sure, let's get you down here. Melee attack. Kaya also melee attack. But first, drop your plasteel spear. Thank you. Oh dear. Oh dear. Madden may have actually... Oh, I thought you'd gone for Yoko. I was going to say the end is nigh. But no. No. You you went for Ben. As, uh, you did actually go for Ben. Ben is, ben is not taking any of your nonsense today, Madden. It's enough of that. Ben has seen what you've done to the other puppies. Ah, my lord. All right. Uh, Dark Avatar, go and equip. Kaya, go and equip. Let's get you guys sorted. And then the first one. There you are. Let's uh, undraft you and rescue Madden, please. There we go. Uh, someone will hopefully take care of Ben reasonably soon. Uh, that's fine. Okay, you can eat whatever you want. Uh, we've got a muffalo in there to butcher. Fantastic. We've also got a number of bionic parts, which will be extremely useful extremely useful uh, as far our food uh, coming along it's going to take a little while though i think we are managing to harvest food reasonably fast our corn is almost there as well which is actually a pretty good thing for us actually um we'll likely be able to get a good harvest out of that much corn it's a shame that we didn't really get much of a harvest out here but oh well that area really has been consigned to, uh, to just uh, hoping that it'll grow, but realizing it probably won't. You may notice there's a lot of blood. We slaughtered one buffalo, and then all of the boom rats ate it, which isn't actually that inefficient. All things told, I I don't have an issue with that one. Uh, there we go. We'll continue making sure that our... Oh, someone has uh, got a daze. We'll continue making sure that that's all set up. Oh, that was quite useful. Uh, sure, let's grab all of that and haul all of the uh, metal in as well. 
There we are. Right. Okay, so we are going to need some energized components. Can we even make energized components? No, we cannot. Do we make energized components down here? Can we even make energized components? Uh, I imagine we'd make them. Yes, there we go. Okay, so how do we do this? 30 uranium per and one component makes one energized component. Yikes. Do until you have, um, let's say, 10. Um, I'll pause at 5. And do until you have 10. Uh, sorry, you've already got 10. That's fine. Okay, that'll just have to have to do. It's going to be a bit of a hard one. Ooh, you'll go heart attack. Where on earth is Dark Havoc? No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Yoko, make it back. Make it back. Where is Dark Havoc? You've ran past it. Right, okay. Okay. Rescue. Oh, straight away. Didn't even have to tell him to stop it. Um, Yoko has got, unfortunately, very high levels of care. So, I'm going to have to turn that off and have Dark Ava just try his best to resuscitate her. Oh, my lord. Come on. 31% chance fail. Come on, Dark Ava. You've done this before. Keep going. Come on. Treatment success. Ah. 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 Keep going. Come on. You've just got to succeed once or twice. There we are. Ah, oh, that was terrifying. Terrifying! Well done. Um, Gordon has been eaten by Yumiko. What? Did... Did Yumiko... What? I have no idea what went on there. But, uh... Okay. I, I, that's fine. We need some more components for that, unfortunately. We are trying to mine components at the moment. In fact, Wilson, I think what we need to do right now is call a bulk goods trader. There we go. Let's uh, request a trade caravan. Bulk goods trader, please. Uh, they'll have caravan here shortly. Okay, and disconnect. Actually, we would also like to call them. Mm, that's really expensive. Uh, yeah, that no, we won't be doing that for a while. Okay, that's fine then. Uh, there we are, making a little bit of steel. Good. We've got plenty of meals being made now. This is good times. Also, could you hold these meals for me? Just get them wherever they need to go. We're eating them pretty quickly, but uh, try and hold them for me if you can. That would be ideal. Okay. Other than that, things seem to be stabilizing somewhat. Somewhat. They're not quite there, but it's better than it was a little while ago. There we go. I've actually forced the uh, harvest of the hay grass because we were having boomerangs who were on the verge of, you know, quite severe starvation. So uh, we're starting to ferry all of the hay grass in here now. Our boomerangs are starting to not be dying, which is generally good because they explode when they're dying. Uh, other than that, moods are still a little bit low. Uh, we're still waiting on a bunch of things to be mined and brought over. Uh, Sakura is pregnant. Okay, group of travelers are nearby. Okay, I may actually uh, purchase some things for you. If you could take out that wolf for me on your way. No, okay then. Ooh, some noms. Diaz is being eaten by David. Uh, really? Are you eating the young? Got a funny feeling you might be. Ah, huh. not sure I approve. Uncertain. Uh, right, let's get our hunters down here. As there is some stuff on the map that we can go and hunt. But generally speaking, moods have started to improve quite a lot. Actually, I think it's uh, yeah, the catharsis. So they've they've come out of a, a daze or something, and so they're in pretty high spirits because they managed to just let it all out. Uh, what's going on down there? Um, that was actually going to be my food. That's fine. You can have it for now. I will allow it. Because I'm going to get better food. Alright, let's get these down, please. Well done. That was a pretty good kill there. There as well, my lord. And if we can finish that one off. There we are. Marvellous. Right, they can all be hauled. I'm afraid you're going to have to go. You're no longer hungry, but I want you to be dead anyway. So, let's go. 
Stop firing and hope. Yes, well done. You managed to uh, take it down pretty quickly there. There we are. And that one can be hold as well. Right, you're all good to go. And Wilson, you can. No. Valerie, can you. There we are. Just hold the Timber Wolf. That's fine. Okay. Um, I mean, you guys can just chill out down there if you want. I'm not going to bring you in. Uh, oops. Oops. You were driven mad. Well, the fact that you had to eat people. That's fine. You just be berserk out there. That's okay. You've actually got warm clothes on, so you can stay out there and just not harass anyone in the colony for as long as you want. Until you feel a little bit better in and of yourself. Uh, we're back down to having no uh, food in here, though, and that's quite, quite worrisome. Quite, quite worrisome. Uh, right, well, we've got some plant pots that we can put around as well. Let's actually have a look at the art on this. It's poor, though. Black War. This work bears an illustration of Dimitri KD flying into a berserk of rage because of the stress. A single tear rolls down his face. The whole image is depicted by the careful arrangement of hundreds of tiny gorillas. The work is executed in a detail-oriented style. This image refers to KD going berserk on the 12th of April, May. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and install this down here. Uh, let's see. Any others? No, no others there. That's fine, though. Can we get some more ornate square plant pots? I think we should. We're going to need... Yeah, we're going to need seven more. So if you could do that for me, that would be amazing. Right, we don't have to worry about our animals anymore, and that's a pretty big weight off my mind, frankly. Uh, how's our power going? Not bad. Not bad. All right, well, given that then, we're going to be waiting for a little while longer on all of this getting built up. We are doing a bit of research, which is nice. I would love it if we could get these finished, but we need a lot of steel and or a lot of components. Kind of both, really. Uh, where could we get the steel from? There's plenty of chunks that have uh, been brought down by various cargo pods and the likes that we could go out and gather and that may be worth doing for the time being though who's our tr primary miner you're working on the plasteel at the moment okay well that's fine for now then we've not got anyone else who's a primary miner valerie's probably going to be most of the time focused on her work in the greenhouses and Dark Avic is generally going to be focused on crafting. Katie's going to be cooking, and that's perfectly fine. We need that done. Other than that, no one else is any real interest in mining. So I guess it's just going to be a matter of letting some time pass. Damn it! A wolf got in! Ah! Uh, thankfully, you've got a load of people over here who can go and deal with it. Come on then. Let's get you all down there. Wilson is getting a buy here because he's quite mad. Uh, right. No! Uh, all right, horror story. You're also there. Please get involved. Really, Albina, that is so, so you, frankly. All right, get in there. Thank you. Oh my lord, horror story. Go and go and take care of your wounds. Let's have a look. Uh, your left pinky cut off, but that's not fresh. You just got a, a bite. Oh, sorry, uh, a claw on your head and your torso. That'll be fine for the time being. Uh, at the very least, you're good to go. How are we doing in here? Oh, we've at least got some vegetables stocked up and ready to be cooked once uh, someone can butcher things. Rhapsody, could you do some butchering for me? We actually do need the meat quite badly at this point. There we go. Let's get all of that butchered, if you'd be so kind. Now, we've got a redonkulous amount of psychoid leaves, and we're just not using them right now. So, given that, I'm actually going to remove this. We're going to plant... Go for some more potatoes there, please, and thank you. Just to vary things up a little bit. And we're doing okay. Ooh, wait a second, the bear is on his way. Oh, fantastic. This is why we keep that those active. If someone could come here and uh, t finish off the grizzly bear, I mean, it'd be cool if we did tame it, but not happening, not today. Let's get that. Over there, that, whoa, those guns were very necessary there, because if that had gone into the colony, that could have made uh, someone very unhappy, at the very least. Beavers, oh, happy days. Yes. Okay, let's get everyone down here. Actually, Wilson, how close are you to being completely mad? Uh, actually, not close at all. 
Uh, Valerie, horror story. You're good. Let's get out there. Flurgles, also very good. Let's get out there. Anyone else want to come along? Uh, I don't think anyone else really does. No, that's fine. Let's get out there. We need to kill all of the beavers as fast as we can. And the book goes trader is here as well. Oh, this is good times. This is exceptionally good times. We've got so many trading opportunities available to us. All right. Everyone is almost there. Let's get down. No, wait. Oh, okay. You were holding other things. That's fine. Right. Start eliminating the beaver threat. Also, gaining food. That is the main thing that we're here for right now is the noms. Delicious, delicious beaver noms. There we go. The beavers are asleep. That's going to make it a lot easier for us to wipe them out. There we are. And we can wander over here. Actually, you're in a brilliant formation. Please don't go too far, beavers, because this is a good place for them to be. There we go. I think one of them got away, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. And spring has begun. The temperatures should begin to very, very slowly improve. Not really. I mean, this is this is the June sanctuary. It's always cold here, but uh, on the whole, not too terribly bad. Well done, everyone. That is a lot of food for us. How about down here? Is there any more noms? No, no more noms. Uh, there we go. Head on back inside. Now then, do we have anyone who's any better at negotiating than... Yes, actually, Atlas. I ask that question all the time, and I'll never remember the answer. All right, Atlas, go forth, trade. Oh, look at all this meat. Oh, actually, that's our meat. We'll take the chicken meat, we'll take the iguana meat, we'll take all of the rice. Um, we'll even take all of your chocolate, all two bars of it. In exchange, we will trade... Oh, we'll take all of your components too. Uh, in exchange, we will trade a few odds and sods. Uh, the cloth we're going to keep. We've got lots of muffalo wool. Let's give you 1,000 of it. There we are. And Alkyde, we give you 500. With Mega Sloth leather. My lord. Let's give you uh, actually less of that. Let's give you 200 of that, I think. And human leather, mm, we'll give you it all. That's fine. That gives us quite a lot of uh, cash here to play with. No, uh, no, 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 no. We want to take all of their steel, not give them all of ours. And then we can get rid of what remains of our dead man's apparel, which actually should not do too bad. We've got a couple of items that are getting low in quality. Or rather low in um, durability. I always say quality when I mean dur durability. I'm a bit of a derp. And finally then, we've got some sculptures, which will bring us a pretty penny. Sure, we'll sell a couple of those as well. There we go. Marvellous. That'll do us very, very nicely. And now all of this stuff needs to be hauled at the highest possible priority. Get it inside, please. Oh my lord, stop eating the raw meat, you fools. We are getting a load of things repaired, and we can also send someone up here to go ahead. Oh, well, actually, we'll, we'll do that later. Go ahead, let's get all of this in if we can, please. There we are. All the steel at least being moved around. KD getting some more cooking done. That would be faster if someone would haul those, uh, the, that rice over for you. Uh, the animals are just going ahead and eating all of the food. Well, that's terrible. A local here has gone mad. Don't care. Uh, is anyone nearby I can order to help out with this? Uh, Kaya, could you haul all of these? Thank you. Dark Avat, could you haul all of these? Thank you. There we go. Let's get some of it moved at the very least. Uh, KD, haul the rice. Let's get this food out of here because right now the uh, Huskies can and will eat it all. That's not why we bought it, Huskies. Prioritize holding the meat. You only hold a little bit of it. Wilson, can you hold? Uh, you don't hold. Where's Dark Havoc? Let's get him involved again. There we are. And as soon as he's available, grab the last little bit. Okay, never mind. Husky's had some good meals at the very least, I suppose. It's a small consolation. Right, I would like to copy over the... Um, uh, lavish meals? Yeah, let's not do that one. Let's copy that and paste that over here and then hopefully we'll start to see things working out a little bit better for our people 
Uh, all of the meals up there have likely already been bought. Let's go and trade with the visitors. See if they've got anything worth trading. Uh, we don't need your medicine, no. Uh, do we need anything else from you, though? I don't need the pack of survival meals. Nope. Uh, any guns I want to sell? No, actually. Not really. I mean, I guess I could take more medicine and then sell cloth for it, but no. No, I don't think we do. Okay, there we go. That should be fine, then. People have plenty of noms, or should do. All right, uranium is something that I definitely need to buy, actually. Uh, I didn't check if there was any available uranium. Uh, I'll check that out in a little bit, though. There we go. Let's just get this going so that we can get some more people batteries on the go. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and just, just peek. Do you actually have any uranium? Because they do sometimes. It's just usually hidden. No, no. Maybe I should go for exotic trader then in that case might be a wiser move uh we've started to replant down here that's fine uh, actually this could be this could afford to be a lot colder i'll go to 10 this one will go to 15. there we are that should keep that room reasonably warm for them and at the very least the amount that we need for for hay grass to be sustained Let's get all of this hauled as a priority, if you'd be so kind. There we go. All right, starting to get back on top of the food situation. Uh, barely, because right, right now we don't actually have any food stored. But the food is there, at the very least. So let's see if we can't get that moved out and put somewhere better. There we are. So we've got a couple of meals. Three, well, two now, actually. But that's fine. We've also got a number of bionic body parts. So I think it's time that we had a quick check. Who would we like to set up with these? Um, you're across the file. So we could go ahead and get, get you some things. In fact, yeah, Rhapsody, let's, let's get you a couple of operations. Now we've got enough arms and we've got enough legs to install all of them for you so let's go all in and get you fully bionicized go and rest rest until healed and dark avoc will come along to uh, perform the surgery there we are now that's going to make a very good doctor basically oh dear that was awkward there we are let's see how this goes First one in. You've got a bionic leg. I suspect the Dark Havoc will be fine for now. Oh, that's what we needed to see. That kind of efficiency. Oh, good times. This whole episode, I've been waiting to see that happen. Glorious times. All right, we should have more than enough bionic part body parts for all of that, actually. Uh, what we'll do now, then, is I'm going to prioritize all of these things in here to be moved. This way, any bionics will be pop, pop down there. Wow. Okay. Um, Labrador fur. Um, medicine. What? Oh, my Lord. What have we got in here? We've got packages of Viva meals. Some of the meals they bought off us. I proof. They were very happy with that. That was rather awesome. Right. You've got one more arm to be installed. But doesn't look like we actually have the other arm yet so i'm going to take this one off then you're going to be a little bit better for now and that is glorious yoko 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 where are you because we've definitely got enough uh bionic animal legs where is yoko there we are yoko need you to get uh you actually don't have any bionic animal legs righty oh let's install these then front leg and front right leg and rear left leg and rear right leg. There we are. Now let's get you to go and rest. And then Dark Ava can take care of you as well. Of course, you get the very best in terms of treatment. Let's just make sure that that's true. There we are. And Dark Ava will be the one to operate. There we go. This should go well. Uh, raid. That's fine. Um, it's not a terrible raid, actually. 
You know what though? We're going to be using the mortars. Now I've installed a mod at the request of quite a few people and in fact at my frustration um, that makes mortars slightly more accurate. Now normally a mortar shell, if we imagine this is the what you're aiming at, the mortar shell could land in an area about this big. Now the mortar shell can land in an area about this big. So it doesn't make it massively more accurate, it's not like pinpoint accuracy, but it is a lot better than it was. Uh, right, Valerie, please man the incendiary mortar, horror story, Flurgles, and Madden. Go ahead, man the mortars, please. Let's start shelling them on their approach. Also, turn on all of our guns. Let's get all of those active. Okay, let's have a watch of this. Are they going to just chill out there? Uh, they look like they're trying to sap through. Oh, well done. Those explosions landed right on top of them. I approve. I approve enormously to that. Keep it up. We've actually done. That. Unfortunately, they're landing on top of the mountain right now. So stop aiming for him if you could. Let's aim instead around about here. And the same for the incendiary mortars. Let's aim around about there for now. Just try and take them out as they as they're clustered around this area. There we go. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Hurting quite a lot of them, actually. They don't know what to do. And that is good. More and more dead. Okay. And a couple more to drop there. Okay, that's fine. We're going to tell you to stop targeting specifically. Uh, stop force attack. Same down here. Stop force attack. You can just pick your targets now. Hopefully, they're just going to try and make their way in. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You need to get inside right now. Did they die? Why are they all just down there and then dropped? Is the question I have. Oh, wait. Is this a corpse pile? Oh, it is. Cancel that then. I need to get rid of this quite badly. That's awful. Please don't shoot my, my huskies. It's incredibly rude. Incredibly. Keep running, Dark. Let's get you inside. Now, the mortar should be uh, dropped on them again in a moment. Incoming. And bang. Perfect. Area revealed. That would have been this little area that they revealed for me. Okay. Well, despite what I know about how it's not actually that accurate of an area they can land in, they're actually doing quite well. I guess because of the explosive nature of mortars. I mean, that one was a miss. But uh, because they are explosive, they, they are going to have a good chance of catching them in the AOE, um, regardless, at this point. Uh, I'm not sure if that's good or not. Um, yeah, you should send away. Let's, let's, not, let's not bring them in here when it's so dangerous. I'm actually enjoying watching the waters now. Before, it was just a massive frustration. Uh, I think that's the end to your ability to sap, honestly. How many more mortar shells we got? We're actually going through them a little bit too fast, honestly. Okay, well, given that, I'm going to tell Madden, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Also, Valerie, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Let's just go for the regular mortars for now. There we go. Doing very good, actually. Doing very good. That fire should start to spread nicely. And they're gone. Okay. Excellent. Well, in that case, then, let's stop the attack all together. Well done, everyone. That was a, a successful raid. Bit of an, a bit of an oddity there. Not used to using mortars to quite such a uh, potent effect. Marriage is on! Kaya has accepted Atlas's marriage proposal. At some point in the coming days or seasons, they will have their marriage ceremony and invite all the colonists. Consider placing a marriage spot if you want to control where the ceremony occurs. Okay, well, now we need to build build somewhere that will be a uh, suitable place. Where we're going to put this, I don't know. Maybe out here. Let's hope it's in, in a nice, uh, nice warm season. Or perhaps down here we could set something up. It could be a nice outdoorsy thing. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we will. We'll have we'll have a think. There's not too much room. That being said, this does seem like a reasonable place to have the ceremony. Maybe we could build off a little branch and actually have loads of benches and chairs and stuff for people to sit there and and watch it happen. I, that would be quite nice, I think. Or maybe even uh, an area down here, like a little little celebration area. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to be working on the next episode. But for now, it's going to be it for me. I do hope you've enjoyed this one and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.